this isn't about partisanship, about Democrat or Republican. It's about common sense. I mean, is it common sense when your state Medicaid agency submits a voucher to the Federal Center for Medicaid Services for a cesarean section on a teenage boy? Is it common sense when the $1.3 billion that were spent by state and local economic development, they claim they created 80,000 new jobs when only 47,000 new jobs were created in total in the state during that period? You know, is it common sense when your governor last year, in the light of the economy, raised salaries across the board an average of 24% in her office? I think that's, you can look at government and there are great opportunities to reduce government. And this meeting here is a great start on it. What Jim just said and what your prior speaker said is absolutely the truth. If you take and find something that's not right in government, and you'll see this, many of you are users of services, or you're just out there, if you go out and look at the CanView website, which I can't encourage you enough to do, that's one of the things AFP was behind, putting that out there so you, the taxpayer, can see how your money's spent. And it's a great place. So that's where I found most of these things that I'm telling you about. You can go out there, you can find out how much your government spent in travel, and there's some very interesting things out there. You're going to find that your, your governor, government people, when they travel, don't stay at the Comfort Inn. <laughs> Go look at the vendors, do some research, and when you get thousands of eyes trained on CanView, you can get back to your legislatures with these sort of things, and they can, can cut them off. Because it's, it's an imbalanced playing field out there, and I think the legislators will, will vouch for this. Whenever there is an item comes up, when we want to cut spending at an agency, that agency has a special person that does nothing but lobby the legis legislators. They bring facts and figures, and overwhelm the legislator. Every special interest group that's receiving a dollar from that agency shows up at the legislator's door. There's a huge imbalance in information. You all can offset that. Get out and look at CanView, or if you see something when you receive a service from the government that just isn't right, think about it. Common sense is all it is. And one of the things that government doesn't have that you have as a taxpayer is the bottom line. You know, as a small businessman, You've got net income. That drives your decision process. And that's one thing, you know, our firm basically deals with small business. And when I was, uh, Governor Frank Keating asked me to come into government, you know, what am I supposed to do? I'm a, a private practice CPA. I said, just apply common sense. Well, when I went around and looked, I, I saw a huge absence of it, and I started to understand why there was. The thing that drives the legislative budget process is the prior year's budget. No one goes and looks to see what did they really do. I'll give you a great example. One of the biggest expenditures of dollars in your state is the Medicaid system. Go look at their performance measures. Find one that says anything about making anybody healthy. You know, it's how many people did we give immunizations to? And that's all important. These inputs and outputs are important. But did the whole program make anybody healthier? And they spend a tremendous amount of your money. They don't just spend your state tax dollars, they spend your federal tax dollars. You know, when you're in private business, if you start losing money, you start looking for a way to change things. And if your services are so bad that you eventually lose so much money that you go out of business, well, that's the end of that service. Government doesn't work that way. And I, I kind of laugh because the first day I was on the job, the uh, Governor's Secretary of Finance sent me a list of the things the government does when they discover a dead horse. You know, one of the first things they do is appropriate more feed for the dead horse. <laughs> and I think you'll see that over and over in government. And you know, the funniest part was, I went down through the list, you know, the government appoints a committee to study the dead horse. You know, the government appoints or pitches another dead horse for greater speed to the dead horse. And it went on and on, but after I'd been in government a while, I realized this is how it actually works. <laughs> And so when an agency fails, instead of going back and looking why they failed at redesigning that agency, the tendency is just to give them more money. Now, I won't carry on in great detail here because you all have sat long enough on those uncomfortable folding chairs. I'll be happy to answer any questions that anyone has or after the meeting, I'll, I'll stick around for a while. But what I'd really encourage you to do is read our common sense budget. I think you will be stuck. If you have been reading all the stories in the paper about we don't have enough money, there's no room for a tax cut. I think we found about $382 million worth of tax cut and a balanced budget with that. 
There are lots of agencies that shouldn't even be around. There's lots of services the state provides that shouldn't have been paid for. We've been paying for cloud seeding in western Kansas since the late 80s. Now, if, if those of you that are old enough to remember the big Thompson Canyon flood out in Colorado, that there happened to be a cloud seeder that was cloud seeding in the area at the time. And of course, when lawyers found out the cloud seeding had been going on, there was the perfect entity to sue for all those debts. So when they, they brought the uh, cloud seeders in, they laid out the best defense you ever heard for why cloud seeding doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> but yet, we've been doing it since. And there are lots of opportunities to cut government spending. But you all need to help your legislators. They really are up.